Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for February. This is going to be for Leo. So we're just going to see what comes up for Leo for February. We're going to get one of these first for an overall energy. Then we're going to get a couple of the round cards. What do we have for Leo for February? Wild. Wild. So that's pretty interesting, huh? It's a 15. 15, you know, represents a... a the devil, but it doesn't have to be a devil, you know, so if it's the number on the devil card, which would be a Capricorn, so you may be dealing with a Capricorn, but you may not. There is a wild, untamed spirit inside of you, desperate to be unleashed. Free it and claim the gifts of energy, power, passion, and creativity it offers you. Through, suppre su through suppressing your wild, succulent, outrageous, and untamed self, you dull your senses and crush your creativity. You shrink, lose your energy, and become depressed. Your relationships suffer and your rage grows. You become ashamed, hostile, cold, boring, over-serious, and scared. You stop taking chances and live in mediocrity. Me mediocrity. <laughs> mediocrity whatever you know I can't say big words constantly trying to protect yourself the truth is that no one can judge you punish you or hurt you as much as you can give in to your wildness and stop living a sham this part of you is sensual provocative truthful courageous bold passionate and alive. Set it free. Go have some fun, Leo. Go have some fun. You can't you can't hold it inside, basically, that's what it's saying. Let's get a couple of these. What do we have for Leo for February? Get a couple of these, please. And take these, too. Here we go. What do we got? Ladder. Climbing towards success. Bowl. Plenty of material things. So you have plenty. You don't have to worry for any reason. You are definitely climbing up. You're climbing up the ladder. You're moving. You're making big moves. There's nothing to worry about uh, materialistically. You have everything you need. I suggest you get out there and have some fun by the looks of things. Stop hiding. You don't need to hide at home. Get out there. What do we have for Leo? I feel as though this is a time, perhaps you're dealing with some karma. Perhaps you're dealing with some karma. You're dealing with some sort of uh, balancing act. You may be needing to balance out your life. You're making some sort of final decision or there is a final decision that is being made. We're going to go ahead and lay out these cards. Okay, so Leo, the overall energy is the hermit. So that tells me that you are in hermit mode, right? You're in hiding. You're not really getting out there. You're uh, secluding yourself. You're reflecting on everything that has happened, right? That's where you're at right now. You're in a time of reflection and a time of uh, of healing. You may have been you may have uh, been dealing with some sort of a uh, legal situation that has uh, changed your perspective. It's changed your path. There's definitely been a, a, a choice, a decision that has been made where there's probably been some ties that have been severed. There, With the Five of Swords, there's defeat. You may have been defeated by something. Um, everything ha has ended in a fair way. It has turned out as it, as it was supposed to. 
Um, somebody may have suffered some sort of consequences for um, belittling another person or betraying another person or trying to overly control. You know, there's consequences for that. So there's consequences and this is the over control, the five of swords, the need to control. There's a bully, there's intimidation, there's abuse. So there's been some sort of abuse where it's come to a it's come to an end. I think there's a there's there's some some sort of finality to the abuse. In the past here there's been a mother that hasn't been a very good mother. She and it could be your mother, it could be you, could, I don't know who it is, could be a wife. Whoever this is, this is a mother that doesn't take care of business, didn't take care of business, didn't put her mothering first, okay? She was selfish, she was greedy, she was smothering, she was too worried about her image, she was too worried about her body. She didn't know her value. She didn't know her worth. She was very needy, very childish, um, very, very selfish and greedy, obsessed with her image, perhaps. This is an absent mother or a, a mother that didn't uh, nurture, okay? There's a lack of nurturing. There's a lack of unconditional love. There's a lack of love for mother, from mother to child, okay, in the past. Um, below the surface, there's some really poor health and perhaps that's been hidden. Okay. There's some, somebody has some health issues and maybe it's mental health issues. Um, that's been below the surface. It's, 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 it's something that you are probably dealing with now. So if there's been some, some health issues that have caused, I mean, this could be a loss of a child in the past. Somebody could lose their child because of their poor health issues. They didn't take care of themselves. This could even be a miscarriage. It could be, um, it could even be an abortion. I mean, because this is karma, this is consequences. Whatever this is, this is a mother that doesn't, that didn't take care of her child and she didn't take care of herself. So however that resonates with you, there, or there's a lack of, Maybe somebody grew up without a mother and now they don't know how to uh, take care of themselves. Or they choose men that don't see their value because their mother, you know, didn't take care of them. They, they want somebody to take care of them. This, we could go all day with this, this card right here. We have somebody here that is suffering and it goes all the way back to their own childhood. Okay, their lack of, of love when they were a child. And, and sometimes, you know, the cycle can repeat, will, will repeat, um, Anyhow, in the past, there's an absence of a mother's love, however that resonates with you. But below the surface, there's there's ill health. There's mental health issues here. There's poor health. There's somebody that needs help. They need help. Um, you know, it's it's really, we have, below you, there is, there's frustrations. There's a need to slow down. There's need for, there, I think there's need for recuperation. There's need, there's need for help. Like maybe somebody needs counseling or they need rehab or something. And that's hidden. It's hidden. There's, there's probably some hidden health issues here. We have somebody that really needs help. And that's just what I want to say. Now, this is isolation and this is isolation. It, don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay, above you is working together, teamwork, collaboration, um, cooperation. So what is coming in is somebody that will work with you, somebody that will maybe this person can teach you or they can help you. This is togetherness. So coming in is 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 somebody that you are probably compatible with that can help you. They can help you. They can teach you something. They can help you to learn new things. This is teamwork, collaboration, working together, the three of pentacles. Okay. I think that we have somebody here that um, is willing to learn new things. And I think that you will be more open to learning new things to help you get through whatever this situation is. They're probably You're probably going to be given an opportunity to work with somebody that you have never worked with before. And they have some advice. They have some sort of information or some sort of uh, help that they can offer that you have never even considered before. So, so that's coming in for you. 
right now I feel like there's there's and maybe there's a decision that is being made that you may feel like it's unfair you may feel like it's unjust but it was fair it was the fair and just decision everything has turned out the way it was supposed to turn out in the future this is love you have a big opportunity for love and emotional support this is your future love big 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 love okay a new love happiness affection um, a new start in love is coming into your life in the near future okay but be prepared to uh, listen it feels like you know know your value know your value once you um, put yourself in a valuable state you will be valued by another person now in the past we have a woman here who doesn't know her value she chases men this woman chases after men this and then she gets hurt because she didn't know her value she's needy she's a very needy woman so if you are the woman watching and maybe this is if you're a man whatever this is a very needy woman who is high maintenance okay and she just wants anybody because she needs constant attention she chases after somebody because she has low self-esteem and low self-confidence and then she gets she gets left because she doesn't know her value so why would anybody want her she's easy She's an easy woman. She doesn't wait. She doesn't. She's not patient. So in the past, we have this woman who has gotten hurt over and over and over again because she just wants anybody to love her because she's so needy, because she lacked childhood love, and then she may have locked it from a mother or a father, but because she she just she wants love so badly that she doesn't know her value. But anyway, in the past, that's the past. You have an opportunity for love that is coming in in the future. It is. But I feel like there's some sort of bitterness and you have very high expectations. I feel like right now, um, I mean, this is in your hopes and your fears. In your hopes and your fears, it's like you're fearful of anybody telling you the truth. Fearful of the truth. Fearful of an ex. Fearful that you're going to get hurt. Fearful of getting hurt so I think that you are definitely fearful of that you may be fearful of uh, you know you may have somebody coming in that is very authentic this person is very truthful this person is very forthright this person is very honest they speak their mind they don't hold back and that could be intimidating to you you may be intimidated by this person that is coming in could be an air sign a libra gemini or aquarius you could also be dealing with somebody that um knows a lot of information about you and you may be fearful that they are going to tell they're going to tell that information because this is in your hopes and fears i think that you are fearful of expressing yourself you're fearful of some sort of truth coming out you're you know don't don't be afraid don't be afraid you know when the truth comes out the truth comes out and it's out and you don't have to worry about it anymore okay so there's some sort of fear here that you need to let go of and in your outside environment you may be you may be bickering with your family you may be bickering with uh you know, there could be some disagreements with your family. There could be people that don't, you don't, you're not seeing eye to eye with. There could be a family feud going on. People are not understanding you. You're not understanding them. There's definitely, um, there could be problems with your father. There could have been an absent father. There could have been an absent mother. I feel like right now you're refusing to listen. And I think the fact that you are refusing to listen is causing problems for you. This is somebody who's, we definitely, it's like we have a know-it-all here. If you are refusing to take any advice from anybody, then you're not going to be successful. You, there's people that know things that you don't know. So I feel like right now we have somebody here that is... You know, they're superficial, there's there's ego issues, there's somebody that is under a lot of social pressure, could be coming from their family. You know, I, maybe there's something that goes all the way back to your childhood that puts you under pressure to perform a certain way or to look a certain way and but that's really not your way you need to break free from that and, and it's going to take strength to do so i feel like we have somebody here that is being controlled by a lot of social pressure um i i feel like um you guys get yourself involved with people that desert you in the time of need because of your neediness 
Okay, there's a lot of neediness here. And this person deserts you. And you may be acting a little impulsively. You know, oh, 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 you know, it's somebody, it's somebody to love. It's somebody to love me. You know, you've got to be, you've got to be logical here. You, maybe you need to step back and give somebody a time, give, give somebody, you know, give it time to get to know somebody. I think that you get deserted by a potential lover for jumping the gun and i'm sorry but it, that's this is deserted in the time of need by a partner so we have a needy individual that doesn't know their wor worth that that chases after men that gets deserted after um a short time because this person doesn't even know how to love themselves and and you, you have to love yourself there is no relationship that is going to work unless you love yourself you can't expect somebody to love you if you don't love yourself so that is a message that somebody this is this could be about self-love and it is mirroring this so it, definitely the ace of cups could be about self-love and maybe that's why you need to go into hermit mode to learn how to love yourself <coughs> this person thinks they need somebody i got to have somebody no, you don't. So I feel like there's somebody may be going through some sort of crisis right now where they, they think they need somebody to complete them when the fact is, is you complete yourself. This is a very independent woman, an independent person. And this is up in your hopes and fears. There's fear of being alone, right? I don't want to be alone. You're not going to be alone forever. Right now, you've got some burdens. You've got some baggage that needs to be dealt with. Okay. I feel like there's been some ties that have been severed within a relationship and you need time to heal. So I think in February, it's a time of healing. It's about dealing with the pain. You can't bury the pain. You have to deal with the pain. There's some sort of loss here, whether it's a loss of a child or it's a loss of a family member. Or it's a loss of a relationship or it's a loss of both. Okay, there is definitely a loss here and healing is needed and you need to do it alone. Some of you may need to go to a rehab. You may need to go to a hospital. There's some sort of help that is needed. And I feel like it's like, I don't need any help. And that's what it is. It's like, I know what I don't need any help. I am completely in control. Well, I got to tell you, we got somebody here that is not in completely in control. They are not, but they think that they are. It's like, I will show no weakness, but we all have weakness on the inside. We do. Somebody, we, we could have somebody here that is on the wrong side of the law. They just refuse to listen. Now, in relation, and in regards to relationships, you need to be careful because it feels like you're probably going to get an offer from somebody or you're going to give an offer. It feels like you're the chaser here. If you, if, if you are the feminine, it feels like you are the chaser. You're chasing somebody that's not emotionally available, but it's somebody, right? So maybe you want to get hurt. Maybe you need to get hurt. Maybe you need to learn another lesson. I hate to say that. If you are the masculine here, I feel like you are dealing with a woman who doesn't know her value. She may not be a very good mother. She's very needy. She's very selfish. Or maybe that's who you've dealt with in the past. So, you know, I feel like there is a new opportunity for love here. There is. And I think, but the thing is, it's like, I'm not sure that maybe I think this is self-love because I don't see you getting into a solid relationship right now. I feel like there's burdens and baggage that need to be dealt with. It's like you're go you need to make a conscious change to drop this baggage, to drop this this heavy weight that you are carrying. It's like you this is a freedom. It's you need to free yourself from obligations right now and work on you. It's all about you. It's about you uh completely going in and realizing your identity this month, listening to yourself, doing what's right for you, not engaging in another person's drama. Okay? I think I see we we have somebody here that is mentally exhausted. It's like you don't you know even this is self love. I know that it is. I know that it is. But maybe you have that wild nature and you just need right. You have these needs that maybe that's why that card came up. It did come out reversed. 
And I flipped it. You saw it. If you flip back, you'll see it came out reversed. I got to flip it because it was supposed to be reversed. It really was. It's not about going. I know that it's not. It's not about going out and find somebody just like that. It's about you climbing the ladder to make yourself successful. I think you have somebody that gives you some good sound advice and you refuse to listen. So I think in February you need to work on self-love. And you do need to go in hermit mode. And maybe you need to tame that wild side just a little bit. And that is why it came out reversed. Good luck.